How to change a circuit breaker. Hey everyone, my name is Daniel Pauli. I'm an electrician of almost nine years. Worked in all the major fields, commercial, residential, and industrial. Yeah, I toughed it out in the cold there for a while, way up north. Anyways, I'm coming to you today just as a little, to help you with your little inquiry of how to change a circuit breaker. The absolute number one thing is to make sure your panel is powered down. You absolutely do not want to get a shock or electrocuted from your panel because you're directly, in, almost directly in contact with the actual power bars inside your breaker. It's, yeah, I don't want to say it's not hard to touch, but you just don't want to take the chance because uh, that is potentially quite harmful to your physical body. So you want to power down the panel first, however you have to, and then from there, either typically you either have a snap-in breaker or a screw-in breaker, depending on which make of panel that you have. Um, if you have a screw-in breaker, all you have to do is find a number two Robbie Robertson screwdriver. It's the one with the red end on it, and you just unscrew the screw in, in the middle of the panel because the other end on the outside of the panel where you would terminate your wire is just a clip there along the outside edge. So you just pop it off from there and same thing, you just pop it back on, tighten up your screw, do not over tighten your screw. That's a big mistake if you happen to strip out that screw hole. Be very, very careful. Just snug it up nicely. You might want to go back a couple days, two, three days, maybe a week after, and power down your panel again and just snug it up a little bit more just to make sure it's not going to come loose because any metal you work with is going to settle a little bit. And so that's it. It's, it's actually pretty simple. It's not that hard. If you're really scared, call an electrician. Call a certified electrician. And just on a side note, um, like I say, I've been an electrician for close to nine years now. And with the last company I was working with, I thought I had a very secure position. Fortunately for me, I was already prepared and had re put a lot, fair bit of research into working from home with a home-based business. When I actually, on a Monday morning, after a great weekend, I got a call saying, you know, the oil and gas industry has really dropped and we cannot afford to put you to work anymore. I was working at a plant building camps for remote locations for the oil and gas industry, which is a major industry. Thought my job was very secure, not so much. And I just want to help you be prepared the best you can, especially if you have family, you have a wife and kid to, kids to support. You do not want to happen want this to happen to you especially with our technology age encroaching on us uh, unemployment rate is skyrocketing literally every single day and for those down in the US last year there was a big scare 800,000 government employees out of work within in a 24-hour period indefinitely they didn't know how long it was going to be before they went back to work you think your job is secure it's not you should be prepared for the worst I have uh, information, some free information for you. Click on any of the links in the description below or the link directly below this video. And just I just want to help you get going in the right direction and prepare yourself for the worst. More than likely it is coming. You don't want that day to catch up to you and not be prepared for it. So do, I will help any way I can. I am here to serve you, I'm here to help. That's what I want to do. All the best to you. Take care. See you on the inside.